Welcome, welcome, welcome my friend. Welcome to my craft room. Oh my goodness, it's great to be back crafting with you again today. Um, today we're going to have fun and create an all occasion card and everything that I'm going to use is out of the warehouse clearance. So that's going to be super cool how we can bring lots of different collections together to make something beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to flip the screen and this is the project that we're going to create. So the swans are from the Carla Lily and um, as other papers and um, I've been bringing together some of the decorative dyes and then some foliage because there are no colour lilies in stock but I was like you know we don't need to have to use those leaves let's see what it looks like bringing other collections together so throw me some hearts if you are loving this card um I've created it as a an all occasion card it could be a um, sympathy card so just by changing the sentiment and these are from the paper pad then that could be a sympathy card and I, I don't know about you friend but sympathy cards are always one of the hardest things for me to create so much emotion goes into those Debbie it's good to see you my friend Julia hi welcome welcome Right, so what we're going to do is, let me, we're going to use the Swan Lake stamp and die set. Now, there's these two beautiful images in here and look at all these beautiful lilies. These would be really snippable. So you could snip these off and put them behind um other things, other images, um, just as fillers in with foliage and things. And then you've got this gorgeous swan with these two cute little babies. Um, so that's what we're going to be using this morning. Anne, Anna, good morning. Carol, Shirley, good morning. Now then, because I am going to be using water i'm going to be coloring with a zig marker and some water i'm stamping in my stays on jet black now you might be saying to me liz why have you got two here and look the different shades now i don't know about you but i wanted it to be a little bit softer on my card than the harsh black image so what you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp, ink it up, and you're going to ooh, you're going to stamp it down once, and then you're going to second stamp it, and we're going to use the second stamped image. There's lots of ink on it; it'll give you a beautiful, clean stamped image. Look at that; it it really is great. That second image, and it's just a little bit softer for our card. Okay, so all we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my zig marker and I am using lemon yellow. So if you saw me colour in last time, we're going to do the same thing. I'm using an acrylic block and I'm just going to lay down some colour onto my block like so and then I'm going to spray some water and I'm going to use this as a paint palette so I've got a water brush there's no water in it and all I'm going to do is take some water and, and pick up some ink and I'm just going to see what colour I'm getting so I want a fairly dark colour so you can see that on the outer parts of the lilies I've created it darker so we'll just do that on these like so just move this so that I don't put my hand in it because I just did 
Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to kind of add some water to my brush and just make that paler. So we've got a paler colour come on there. And what we can do is we can build up this colour along the outside where the darkness would be, the shading. So I'm just going to go in when they're dry, go back in and colour those. Add some shading. There we go. Like so. It's just building up the colour. Now I've coloured the beaks as well and if you wanted to you could add some pink onto the cheeks. I'm not doing that but you could. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've coloured some of these stalks and swirls. So I'm going to come in, because this is my pen that I've been using for a while, for my green, I'm going to use that. And I'm using the leaf green. And I'm just going to come in and colour these wonderful swirly bits, these loopy bits. Aren't they pretty? Now you could use these for an anniversary card. You could use them for a wedding card. These images are absolutely gorgeous. Like so. And on the stalks. So when I'm doing the stems, I'm just going to bring some of that green up into the lily just so that the green blends in a little bit towards that change where the stalk and the flowers meet and then that is our image all colored so this really is a lovely quick image to color i don't know about you but sometimes i look at flower stamped flowered images and go how do i color those and I hope that you can see just how easy that is to colour and to shade those using um, the pens. Okay, Lorna, hey, you've loved this card so much. I thought it would be great for my son and daughter-in-law's upcoming anniversary. Oh my goodness, Lorna, that's amazing. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Karen, it's good to see you. Yes, it's great to do colouring techniques, isn't it, my friend? Okay, I don't know about you, but um, sometimes I just don't have the time to do um, lots of colouring. And, and this image is just great for that. So, uh... oh, Karen, great question. What was I using for my greens? So this is a Tombow marker pen and it's just a blender pen. It's one of those that you can run the colour out and um, you can use just another colour on top. It's just, I've chosen to keep this for my green because I use it lots for my green. But you could absolutely use another, a green from the Zig Markers and use your water brush. It's just that I have this as, as one of my favourite ways to colour my green. Um, you could do either way. I hope that helps, Karen. I hope that helps. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to lay down our coordinating die, run that through the die cutting machine, and we get our beautiful image. Now, I have taken the flowers and I've just kind of curled them in my fingers just so they're not flat um, and so that they they have some movement to them okay so that's all we're going to do with that image right so let's put our card together i'm going to take a six by six side fold card and then i'm going to cut from the carla lily paper pad one of the card fronts now you can see i've cut this apart and what I've done is I used a craft knife and I cut this piece out, okay? 
So this came out like this and leaves this bit and we're going to use that on our card. And then, I don't know if you know this, but the papers with these lovely rounded cornered squares and rectangles in, they coordinate with the Cut Mac Create dies. So these just fit to cut out these pieces easily and quickly. And they're great for matting and layering. So I've used this one. So this set is the Cut Mac Create 2A because that's the right size to cut this centre out like so. Right, so let's, we're going to glue this piece on first. Lawrence, hey, my friend. It's good to see you. I know that you are all the way in Belgium. I don't know about you, my friend, but the sun is actually shining here today. It's awesome. Our summer has been um, not so summery, I guess. <laughs> um, I know that uh, there is some weather hitting you guys down in Florida and I hope that you're all keeping safe and that um, everything is okay. We've got friends that live down there and they told me that they've got battered by the rain, but that's okay, that's all, which is great. So I hope you're keeping safe. So this piece, I've just put some um, foam strips on, okay? But before I glue, attach that, what I'm gonna do is I am taking the petite pocket accents now these this die set is fantastic there's lots of ways that you can use these together and create some beautiful um, results today what i'm going to do is i've cut them out in white and i've just got that one all hooked together do you ever does that ever happen to you with your die cuts all hooked together and what we're going to do is we are just going to glue these so they create a frame like so so they look really pretty like that they just give that lift to this frame so okay now you could do it you could attach them before you put your 3d pads on you're going to get a different look um, because it'd be right next to the paper but that's great, isn't it? It's, it? it's always good to be able to create a different look quickly and simply with our crafty stash. Oh, uh, there we go. So I'm just going to pop this one on like so. And then we just trim this off. Julia, you're saying that you love the card and you also love the cut mat die. You got them and forget to use them. My friend, me too. Um, they are such a great die just to be able to um, layer things with. Okay, and if you're a scrapbooker, they're absolutely perfect to create scrapbooks with or albums with. Okay, but um, they're great because you can just add them onto your card fronts, the ones that have the squares and the rectangles, and uh, use them to cut out that centre really nicely. Um, I don't know about you, but using a craft knife is great, but I don't always get a great, great cut. So um, if I've got a die that I can get the result with them I am definitely going to do that okay right so the next thing is we're going to add this so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this piece and the outer down all at the same time okay so 
So let's add some glue onto the edges like so. And I'm going to just put some glue on the back here. I don't know about you, the card fronts in the paper pads really make for quick and easy card making. I had a friend connect with me this last week and said that they'd got some of the bulk paper pads and they were so excited. Um, sorry, the bulk papers that, that are in the on the website the bulk packs of papers. Um, they got some of those and they were so excited because they were going to cut them all up ready and have the card fronts just ready to go to create lots of cards quickly and easily, which I thought was an absolutely fantastic super idea. So you can see that we've just created something really pretty with our card front. That was just a piece of paper. The card front's doing all the work for us with those layers and then what we're going to do is we are going to just add our gorgeous um swans and i've got some foliage so what you'll see is the summer wreath accent stamp and die set are in the warehouse clearance and look at these amazing fillers that are in here so we're going to be using these lovely leaves and i'm using this leaf as well i thought that was that was a, a lovely wreath that gave me that um wreath reed kind of um look you, you know when you go past streams and rivers and there's lots of tall um, foliage. I thought that those reminded me of those and they'd look great with the swan. And then there's this gorgeous little butterfly as well. I was trying to work out how I could incorporate the hearts but um, I decided that less is more and you know if, if you wanted to put some hearts in then you absolutely could. You could put, even put some little birds sat down by the swans as well. So that's a really fantastic stamp set, the Summer Reef Accents. Um, right, so let's, let's layer this up. So we've got, we're going to put two like so. And then I realised, do you ever, do you ever get to put a card together and go, oh, I've got the wrong pieces? Well, just before I went live, I realised that I didn't have two curving that way I'd got them like this and I was like that's okay because what we can do is just turn it so it goes up like so I would have put two coming over like this but this is good we can make it work and then we will have these two like so and then we're going to put on our swan. So that's going to come over a little bit more, like so. So what we need to do is just glue that down. I'm just waiting for my hot gun to warm up because I'd forgotten to put it on. So while that's warming up, I cut a sentiment from the paper pad. Now, I've cut it from the page at the back with all the tags in and the ornamental tags has the die to cut these. So this is how it comes out with the die cut and that's great. We could have it as a tag. We could put a piece of string or a piece of ribbon so it's hanging down and, and moving around with some of the others. And what we can do is just snip off that top and make it into a circle. So this is the sentiment that I used last time. I'm going to use this one this time. Because I have a friend that I know needs a hug. So I'm going to send, create this one, sending you a hug so that um, I can send her a hug. Okay, so what I need now 
is a piece of 3D foam and I'm not finding a wider one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the strips and just put those in the centre like so. And there we go. Put some glue on. So my friend, do you love to make cards just for the sake of giving a card? I know it brings so many smiles to, to my friends and family when I just send them a card. It doesn't have to be their birthday or um, an anniversary or anything, but just to receive a card for receiving a card. Um, it really makes their day. I know my grandma used to love receiving a card when she was alive and I lived in the States. I used to send my grandma a card every week and she used to so look forward to that coming through the door. Okay, Lawrence, you love the swan for a wedding card. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's glue this down. And then all we've got to do is just add those gorgeous little butterflies. Okay. So we're just going to glue these down. Linda, it's so good that you joined us, my friend. I don't know about you, but crafty time together is one of my favourite things. I absolutely love for us to get together and chat and um, craft together so uh, there we go so i'm just going to pop this one on here and like i say the one that i haven't got is going to go this way like so there's always a way i don't know about you my friend but there's never any mistakes in crafting, is there? I know sometimes we put things in the wrong place or we um, something drops on it, a stamp drops on it and we mark it or we get a glue mark. It just means that we adapt our image, our, our uh, project and uh, happy accidents are born from things that don't quite go as planned. So... Uh, there we go so you can see those two look really do look as uh, like those reeds in the rivers and then all i'm going to do is add my pop dots to the back and then we're just going to add that onto our card like so so that's absolutely beautiful. You could leave it like that if you wanted. Deborah, you've just said you've got the swan stamp and dies and this has given you inspiration. Oh my goodness, Deborah, I can't wait for you to create with them. Um, I know you're going to have lots of fun. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken those beautiful little butterflies from our stamp set from the summer wreath accents and I stamped them onto vellum in white ink and what I've done is I coloured the backs because I didn't think white was going to stand out very much and I wanted to pull out this lovely colour in here um, so I've used the majestic violet inks and on the backs and all we're going to do is we're going to glue these on to our cards so I've got five of them so we'll put one there and we'll go one oh there was two there there we go they were, they'd, they'd attached themselves to each other and another one up here and then we'll have two fluttering in the top, like so. 
So that just brings in that colour, brings it all together so it's not just all yellow. And uh, there we go. So that's our card all complete. Right, let me flip the screen. Friend, it's been so good to see you again. I don't want you to forget to um, get hold of your free paper pad. So let, I must tell you, get hold of your free paper pad for every $100 order. Um, add that to your cart and it gets um, it gets taken off at, at checkout. There we go. And of course, you can save up to 70% in the warehouse clearance. It's great how things work that are in the warehouse claims with each other. There are so many collections that we've used today and we've made a beautiful card that I hope you'll love. So friend, make sure you take advantage of your free paper pad. It ends the last day of August at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So don't miss out on that and have lots of fun, lots of crafting fun. I am back on Friday so two days time with another project for you and uh, have a fantastic time I can't wait to see you again happy crafting my friend bye